So hi guys and welcome to my new calibration video, this time for first Panasonic's 2016 model that I'm reviewing and basically the first 2016 TV on this channel. So this is Panasonic's 50DS630E, Panasonic's probably best Full HD LCD TV in their lineup this year. This model is also available in 40 inch so settings I will show in this video also apply to that model. By default picture is in normal preset and this normal preset is you're guessing not really accurate. Yeah, you're correct. It's not very accurate. Um, white balance is not right. There is too much blue. Colors are not where they should be in terms of gamut. Um, so we have secondary colors cyan and magenta move towards blue and uh, green is a little bit oversaturated In short, I do not recommend to use this preset much better is cinema Where we still have too much blue, but here at least we have more stable gamma and color gamut true cinema is the most precise preset out of the box with white balance which is reasonably good but still there are certain fluctuations between uh, blue and red depending on stimulus level. Custom mode is similar to normal preset actually, not really precise, gamma not right, crushing of details in shadows, losing details in highlights, in short I also do not recommend using this preset. So let's go back to True Cinema. This one is calibrated to around 200 nits of peak brightness. Contrast and brightness are at their default values because I couldn't notice any loss of detail either in dark or bright areas. Color, tint and sharpness are at their default values. Color, temperature, warm too, also default value. Vivid color is off. Adaptive backlight control, in short this is on and off switch for global dimming. You know that some manufacturers are adding this so-called feature which you cannot even easily defeat. And at least here you can turn it off if you don't like TV to adjust uh, luminance of the screen depending on scenes average picture level. Ambient sensor will adjust luminance of the screen depending on room lighting. Noise reduction and MPEG remaster, basically options I also recommend to be disabled when watching high quality content. Next is intelligent frame creation, which basically allows you to improve motion resolution. So for sports, uh, where you want more details with moving objects, I recommend keeping this option at minimum. If you like soap opera effect for 24p content, you can also increase this value to mid or max depending on what you like. Now going to advanced settings where we see white balance, color management and gamma options. Here Panasonic as usual offers very wide range of adjustments in terms of white balance 2 point and 10 point adjustments. Here you see that red gain is minus 2, green gain at 0, blue gain at minus 2, red cutoff at plus 1, green cutoff at 0 and blue cutoff at 0. Now let's go to 10 point white balance system where you see for each level adjustments for red, green and blue gain.
And finally 10%. Okay, now let's go to color management system. So here you see adjustments for primary colors. Increased red luminance to plus 6, green saturation to minus 9, green luminance to plus 3. And then in more detailed adjustment, we have secondary colors. So cyan hue at plus 2, cyan luminance at plus 2. Magenta luminance at plus 7, yellow hue at minus 10, and yellow luminance at plus 4. And gamma option. So by default in true cinema, gamma is at 2.4 value. I recommend gamma 2.4 for darkroom environment. I usually calibrate to gamma 2.2. Now for each stimulus level, Panasonic also offers adjustments, so 100% no change, 90% gain is at plus 8, 80% gain is plus 13, 70% gain is plus 12, 60% gain is at plus 10, 50% gain is at 0, 40% gain is at plus 3, 30% gain is at plus 4, 20% gain is at plus 8, and 10% gain is at plus 6. Ok, let's see option settings. Here we have game mode, which can be turned on and off. Film cadence mode is on, this is for interlaced signals. Depending on signal type you can also engage 1080p pure direct mode. HDMI content type is at default value and HDMI RGB range is at normal value also by default. Depending on type of signal, especially for gaming, you should adjust this to either auto or full. Ok, important for screen settings is to disable overscan in order to see complete image. By default this is turned on and I highly recommend that you disable it. This is at default value and so is screen display. You can easily copy adjustments to other inputs by going to copy adjustment and select copy start and confirm. Yeah. Very quick and effective process. So as you can see after calibration picture is so much better than the full true cinema preset and light years away from normal preset in which TV comes by default. I will talk more about picture quality in my separate video and uh, up until now I can say that this is a really high quality product with 100Hz panel full HD resolution which is just right for typical viewing distances. For example, 3, 4, 5 meters away, you don't need UHD TV screen. I think this TV will be mentioned a lot during this year, especially for those who are after high picture quality and are not so much concerned about smart TV, latest web browser and top-notch media player. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, actually, yeah, we have 7% women on the channel. Thank you very much for watching and uh, be sure to check my channel soon for complete review of this TV and also upcoming calibration and review videos. Thanks and see you in some other video. Bye!